It's terrifying enough to play the Resident Evil 2 remake knowing that Mr. X, the Umbrella Corp's latest tyrant, is loudly stalking the hallways, always just around the corner. Knowing this powerful enemy is ready to throw open nearby doors at any moment adds an extra layer of tension to your time in Raccoon City, no matter how well armed you are. But imagine that terror multiplied. Imagine being stalked by not just one, but two Mr. X's during your playthrough of the game. That two-on-one nightmare is an unfortunate reality experienced by YouTuber Beast Gaming HD during a speed run of the game's hardcore mode. The gamer was going for an S-plus ranking with a speedy, no-saves playthrough, and he was making pretty good time with it, until the game glitched out on him in the worst, most violent way. Writing in the YouTube description of his video, the speedrunner explained what went down, writing, I heard a weird number of Mr. X footsteps and was getting confused regarding his actual location because they were coming from multiple directions. If you thought one Mr. Mr. X is scary, try dealing with two of them. Footsteps everywhere, heart BPM through the roof. When you watch the footage, you can see the confusion Beast Gaming HD is talking about playing out in real time. Things start normally enough with Claire getting eyes on the first Mr. X outside of the police station, making an easy escape with the help of the stun grenade. But after fleeing to the inside of the building, Claire unexpectedly encounters Mr. X again. After the shocker, you can tell he's hearing something off panning the camera around to see if something else is going to show up. Finally, two Mr. X's enter the frame at the same time, marching toward Beast Gaming HD like a team of merciless assassins. Oh no. To Beast Gaming HD's credit, he kept his wits about him and takes the challenge head on, managing to stun both Mr. X's at one point. Unfortunately, the presence of two tyrants throughout the remainder of the game would force him to change his survival strategy, and almost certainly slow him down. As a result, the brutal glitch effectively ends his speedrun attempt, but at least it made for one heck of an exciting video. The Resident Evil 2 Remake's modern-day spin on Mr. X is something that a lot of gamers can't stop talking about. Many players have shared videos of their own encounters with Mr. X, letting viewers relive the unexpected moments in which the tyrant bursts onto the scene. The series has done this sort of thing before, with Resident Evil 3's Nemesis and Resident Evil 7's Jack Baker, but it never pulled it off as well as RE2 does with Mr. X. Reviewers agree that the enemy is a highlight of the remake, and potentially even a game-changer for the genre. As George and Bird with DualShockers wrote, Resident Evil 2's Mr. X is easily one of the best things to happen to the survival genre in years, and I love him. Some reviewers more respect Mr. X than they like him, because he does have a tendency to wreck a player's good time. Game Informer's Kyle Hilliard noted his own love-hate relationship with the enemy, calling him both the best and worst part of the remake. As he put it, I do like Mr. X's inclusion, but when I am actively playing the game, I hate him. In case you haven't gathered it from Beast Gaming HD's unusual encounter, Mr. X is an enemy in the Resident Evil 2 remake that you cannot immediately kill, no matter how much firepower you unleash on him. The player crosses paths with the giant monster in the Raccoon City police station, and from there, he relentlessly pursues you everywhere you go. If you're careful and quiet, you can slip in and out of rooms and limit the number of times you have to deal with him. But Mr. X has very good hearing. If you get into a scuffle with some zombies, or worse, if you have to fire off a bullet or two, you'll almost certainly have a Mr. X problem on your hands. That's creepy. Oh, oh <laughs> that's not good. So yeah, oh. he, can, he can travel quite far to get you. Players around the world are perfecting the best strategies for avoiding, dodging, and surviving their encounters with the unkillable tyrant. You can stun him, but you can't stop him. You can hide from him, but eventually you have to press forward. He's scary, but he's manageable. Until the game freaks out and spawns two of them. It's double the terror, double the fun. Until one of them gets the drop on you. Sometimes life in Raccoon City is just not fair. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.